Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and I'm feeling really good because we had early dismissal over at the school today. So the girls asked me to make them some peanut butter and jellies for a little snack. You can never go wrong with these. They're upstairs getting their homework done. Leah is helping Livy. She is such a good big sister. But if you're wondering where Leo is, he is at his friend Brayden's house right now. They have a really big test coming up for their science class. You might have seen that video with Mr. Washington. If you haven't, it'll be linked in the eye in the corner. Make sure you go and check it out. They dissected frogs, which was pretty cool. I'm sure they're playing more video games than they're doing studying, but that's okay. He hasn't been hanging out with his friends too often. So whenever he asks to go out, I normally let him because he's a good kid and I want our kids to have a life outside of school. You know what I mean? I try not to be too strict on them. So I'm gonna call them downstairs to eat and while they're doing that, I'm gonna go catch up on some reading. Dude, this is gonna be so sick. I've never done anything like this before. Oh, come on, don't be a wuss. I've done this plenty of times. And you've never been caught? I got this spray paint from my older brother, Brody. Nope, it's easy, but there's cameras around. You wanna be cool, right? These cameras are never on. They just say that to scare people. Okay, okay, I guess you're right. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, I've got some real nice colors. I call blue. <laughs> sure. Shake it up really good. Make sure it's not too runny. Oh, well. Someone's at the door. Is that Brayden's mom? Okay, hope nothing happened. Hey, Rebecca. Hi, Akila. How's it going? I'm great. How are you? A little overwhelmed with work, but that's to be expected. What brings you by? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. I'm just here to pick up Brayden. Is this some kind of joke? Leo said he was going to your house after school. Huh? Brayden said he'd be here. Wait a minute. I know these boys didn't lie to us. Okay, um, come on in. I sent Leo a few texts and he never responded. Let me try giving him a call. Can you try calling Brayden? Oh no, what if something happened to them? I tried before I left the car. Nothing. Let me call my husband. Hey! You need to come home right now. Leo and Brayden are missing. They're missing? What do you mean they're missing? I'll be home soon. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, I called my husband and he'll be here soon and we can all drive around town and look for the boys. I hope they're okay. Me too. Come in, I'll get you some water or something. But baby, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Leonardo Collins, you better pick up this phone right now. I am not playing with you. You and Brayden have us all worried sick. Still nothing. Sounds like August is home. Hey, I'm sorry you had to call off of work, but Rebecca and I are worried sick. We have no idea where Leo and Brayden are. So what's going on? Leo told me that he was going to Brayden's house after school. And Brayden told me he was coming here. So the kids lied. Neither of them will pick up their phones. And we have no idea what's going on. I feel sick to my stomach. What if they stopped at a friend's house? I mean, maybe, but why aren't they both picking up their phones? You think they're really that busy? Maybe we're just overreacting, but this is unlike him. We should go look for them. Here, Rebecca, I'll take your cup. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll meet you out front. Okay, so we're making it to town. We're keeping an eye out for Leo and Brayden. Okay, I don't see anyone at the gas station. No one in front of Mike's Motors. 
What would they be doing there anyways? Make a left. Pizza Planet? Do you see anything? Here, let me get out and see. Um, anyone in Pizza Planet? This place is always packed. Okay. No sign of them. Let's keep going. Okay, the fancy furniture store. Nobody goes there at all. That store is dry. This place never gets business. You think they snuck into the nightclub in the middle of the day? I mean, teen boys will do anything. Maybe let's go in and see. I hear music. Come on, Rebecca. We're gonna check the nightclub. Let's hurry before our cars get towed. Oh, this music is awful. Uh... It's so hard to see. Do you guys see anything? Have you seen two underage boys? No? Okay. I guess they're not here either. I can't hear you with all this music. Oh, this is so dumb. Let's get out of here. I doubt they'd come here during the day. So that was a fail. Leo is getting his devices taken away if we ever find him. Don't say if we ever find him. We have to find him. No, I don't think they'd be in there. The gym? The gym looks real empty. I don't even go there. He won't be there. He's way more active than you. Okay, here we are at the BFF supermarket. Uh, again, this place looks completely empty. Maybe that little alleyway behind Bloxy Burgers? I don't know what they'd be doing there, but it's worth a shot. Let's go check. Okay, we'll see you there, Rebecca. Okay. So we're going to check this little alleyway. I don't see anyone in Bloxy Burgers. And nothing. There's no one back here. Where could he be? Okay, we're gonna do a bit more driving around. This looks so dope. We did good. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this, Brayden. Oh, shut up. No one will know. If my parents find out about this, I'm dead. Then don't let them find out. It's not that hard, Leo. Don't make me regret hanging out with you. Maybe for you. <laughs> of two young males behind the happy march with spray cans i'm on it uh did you hear those sirens shoot book it collins you two have been caught freeze Officer, we came here and it was like this. We were just on our way to find someone. Yeah, yeah. Wait till we check these cameras. You see that sign up there? I thought you said they didn't work, Brayden. See, bro? I thought they didn't work. You two are in big trouble. Please, officer. You two are coming with me. Turn around. No, officer. I can explain. It was all him! He made me! I didn't want to! Move it! Okay, so now we're gonna go and check the gas station up here on Dominus Highway because sometimes the kids like to go here after school and get snacks. It's already getting late, but maybe they're here? I'm feeling hopeful. Come on, guys! Let's get out and look around! Rebecca, maybe you can ask the worker inside? I'll check around back. Leo? Braided? Leo! I don't see them. No sign of them? I don't see anything. I'll go see if Rebecca found anything out. Wait, I'm getting a phone call. Rebecca, August is getting a phone call from an unknown number. Uh-oh, it's the police. The police? Why are they calling? Maybe they found them. What? Hello, officer. He what? What happened? Let me hear. We're on our way right now. What? What happened? The boys got arrested. What? Arrested? You've got to be kidding me. Where are they at? What did they do? Happy Mart. Doesn't seem so happy after all. Oh my goodness. Come on, let's go get in the car. We'll meet you there, Rebecca. This has to be some kind of mistake. This has to be some kind of joke. Mom! About time you guys made it. Well, we're sorry. We've been running around the entire town looking for them. Where is he? I got the belt. I found your little troublemakers. Brayden, what were they doing? I'm I'm just so confused. Spray painting the back of the Happy Mart. What? That is so unlike him. Look, we're sorry, officer. The boys lied to us. Our son said that he was going to be at his friend's house and... 
His friend said he was going to be at our house. We had no idea they were doing this. That's not like Leo. I can't believe you, Brayden. You need to teach these young folks a lesson or two. Oh, I'll teach them a lesson. Wait, how about we all pretend like they're going to jail? We, we can do that, right? Just to scare them a bit. So hopefully they never do this again? Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. Leo, I cannot believe you. But you know what they say? You do the crime, you do the time. This officer is going to take you to jail now. It was all Leo's fault. He dragged me into this. Uh, yeah, I hate to break it to you, but you're, you're going to jail. I was the one reluctant about this whole idea. Oh, come on, Leo. You know I would never. Juvie? You heard that right. Say your goodbyes. Please, no. Not me, though, right? I'm sorry. Brayden, don't lie. You've gotten yourself into situations like this multiple times. You're going to end up just like your father now. But mom, this is the last time you'll see them at least for a couple days. No buts. Why? Because you don't have one? Wow, you might have to save the belt for that Brayden kid. That was harsh. Okay, I won't arrest you today. You boys are real lucky. Oh, thank God. But if I ever catch you doing something, trust, I will deal with you guys. I'm going to church. You! I'm dealing with him regardless. Ha 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 ha. Good one. Can we please get out now? Now get up. Yeah, get out the car. You've done a lot of dumb things in the past, but nothing this dumb. Are you kidding me? Brayden, get in my car immediately. Yes, ma'am. I was peer pressured, mom. Oh, now you scared. We'll have a talk about this at home. We'll send you both the video footage. Video footage? And you were caught on camera too? Well, we'll see if you're really telling the truth. But either way, don't ever do something this dumb again. Perfect! All your siblings can see what you do during your free time. And I'm taking that phone! Okay, well, thank you, officer. Akila, I am so sorry about Brayden's influence on Leo. Promise! You know what, Rebecca? It's okay. Leo should definitely know better. He's kind of dealt with this before in the past. And he knows right from wrong. No problem! That was my due diligence! But, um, we'll see you around, okay? Drive safe. Sure thing. You guys, too. Thank you. Rebecca is such a sweet lady, but I don't think Leo should be hanging out with Brayden anymore. Now get your nappy headed behind in the car. Get! Hopefully we never have to see you again under these circumstances. August, take us home. Give me that phone right now. Again? Don't talk back to your father. Hand over the phone. You are not Brayden. Okay, okay, here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we're back at home, and I just got the video footage emailed to me. August, go ahead and play it. So this is what we're doing now? You know if you continue to let other people peer pressure you and influence you to do stuff like this, the next time you may just end up in juvie. Or even worse. No, he will end up there. Don't do this ever again, Leo. Very disappointed. First of all, you lied to us. You didn't answer my phone calls. Your father had to take off of work so we could run around the entire town looking for you. So no phone, no video games, no hanging out with friends. You come straight home and you do your homework. You eat whatever I make for you here and you go to bed. That is your life for the next, how long do you think, August? A month? Two? I'm thinking two. Well, two months it is. Two is a stretch. And I'm taking that computer as well. Oh, come on. You made these choices, so now you have to suffer the consequences. Oh, come on, nothing. And don't talk to that Brayden kid. He's trouble. Go to your room. What you still standing around for? Go! Okay, everyone. Well, that's going to be it for this video. We are so disappointed in Leo's behavior. But if you enjoyed, do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time
worth it. Cause I'll slip into your dreams. And